just want to get home. I guess it's time to look for a new job. I just wanted to be home. Sector 8 will be back to normal in no time. Are you going to be able to do that? I'm not going to be able to do that. I'm going to have nightmares about those fires. Do you mind? I'm trying to work here. Hey, Is got a sec? Should have never gotten out of here. Alone, right? Right? Just called in sick. Why don't you learn to take a hint, buddy? Okay. Have they caught the perpetrators yet? You're, uh, holding up pretty well, huh? Why don't you Even learn to take a hint, buddy? Even after what we saw at the station and all over Sector 8? I'm a soldier. Well, my hands are still shaking. You get used to it. Why don't you learn Something to take to a look hint, forward buddy? To. Or maybe not. Why don't you learn to take a hint, buddy? Do you think Wu Tai's to blame? Maybe some help cloud, grounders please. did it as payback? Don't be stupid. Yeah. What kind of maniacs would go so far as to bomb a reactor? <sighs> They've yet to announce it publicly, but I heard it was Avalanche's doing. Really? Aren't they the terrorists who tried to kill the president? Is there nothing they won't do? Hey, quit talking out your ass. Everyone knows Avalanche only cares about saving the planet. Hmm? Just, just who do you think you are? A law-abiding concerned citizen. Law-abiding? Really? Hmm. Uh, uh, shh. Don't antagonize him. In my humble opinion, that explosion was a message. A message to the bastards bleeding our planet dry. Think they got it? Heard it loud and clear? <laughs> Y'all's masters? <laughs> we will not submit to intimidation or violence, but work together for peace and prosperity. That is how civilized people change the world! That's right! That is the Shinra Creed! Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Them's fighting words. It's what we believe. We all have to follow our conscience, don't we? We should go. Right. <laughs> Slower than molasses, am I right? <laughs> uh, I didn't hear anything. You gotta believe me. You hear that suit? Shinra Creed, my ass. We're the good guys, damn it. You hear that suit? Shinra Creed, my ass. this out of the way. Personally, I find visual aids make the dull stuff a lot more bearable. If it helps, think of it as an initiation rite. How many times do I have to tell you people? I'm not... <clears throat> There's such a thing as playing too hard to get. So, here we've got a wireframe model of the great city of Midgar, complete with massive steel plates suspended 300 meters above ground level, atop which stands a shining beacon of civilization. The whole system is sustained by the Mako reactors, which feed the insatiable appetites of the public. The train will be passing through an ID uh. checkpoint shortly. This here is the train's route. As you can see, it'll take us around this main pillar. Look, we're about halfway through it now. They've set up a checkpoint here to scan the IDs of all passengers heading in and out. Date of birth, residential status, criminal history, all that and more is automatically cross-referenced in their databases. Public security wouldn't have it any other way. Heads up. <coughs> Don't worry. Our IDs are impeccable. What I 
tell you. Have a little faith. Won't be long till we reach the bottom. Relax. Take a good look. It's because of that great big pizza in the sky that people down there gotta struggle to survive. Shinra sucks up Mako while the soil turns to dust, the air fills with smog, and the flowers die. Then leave and don't look back. <sighs> that's what's always worked for me. <sighs> well, that's all well and good. If you only out for yourself. But the folks down there don't have the luxury of choice, you know. One, members lost zero. And one step closer to a brighter future. Hell yeah! Guys! Lower your voices, huh? People are listening. Oh, ah. Right. Ah. Hmm. Now get some r, &R. You've earned it. Just be ready for the next mission, all right? Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> See you soon. Uh, at Seventh Heaven. You know where Tifa works. Don't keep her waiting. She'll worry. How about it, baby girl? Not Hello. long now, honey. <laughs> that is almost home. Train services have been. So the Mako reactor's broken. I've never felt the ground shake like that. What kind of person that. bombs a reactor? It's the kind of person who goes around putting up That's wires all over the train. Oh, I Avalanche. That sounds familiar. So the planes only had it so good because of the reactor. Mm-hmm. I've never seen anything like it. Huh? It was like a giant huh? candle Sector lighting up the whole sky. Sector 8 was a nightmare. Fires everywhere. All that debris piled up like mountains. You couldn't go nowhere. Huh. Mako is the lifeblood of the planet? Yeah, the hell it is. Goddamn eco warriors with their dumbass posters. I tear them down and they're back up inside of an hour. Like I've got nothing better to do. I mean, look at all that steelwork. You trying to tell me that's not progress? <laughs> What the? You okay, buddy? <sighs> Mako Junkie, huh? Figures. Shower can't come soon enough. I can barely tell my skin from all the ash and sweat. When I get back, it's refueling time. And you, Jesse? I don't know. Figure out how I screwed up? Huh. <laughs> You're such a kidder. Once 
again for these supplies are currently being distributed in the lobby of the Shinra building. Doctors are also stationed what in the building the? for disaster That's where I work. If you are an no freaking way. Own, Put that fire the out, idiots. I was there yesterday. Mayor Domino, in conjunction with President Shinra, has declared a state of emergency in Midgar. The administration has issued assurances that they are doing everything Are they going to turn the reactor off? Why did people blow it As up? Yet, no group has claimed responsibility for the attack, but security services are working tirelessly to identify those involved. If you have any information pertaining to the identity wow. of the perpetrators... Wait, this is real? It's not a movie? How long is it going to keep burning? What do you know? That ain't half bad. I'll make a Chris monkey out of you yet. Thanks. I want a drink with tea for so bad. <gasps> Arlene. <laughs> Daddy, you're home. That's right, Angel. I Welcome am. back. <laughs> Have you been a good girl? Yeah, I picked up a Tifa. <laughs> oh, you did, did you? Well, well. <laughs> you made it. Hmm. Where'd you get that? I can't remember the last time I saw a real one. Hmm. Huh? <sighs> How sweet. When did you get so thoughtful? A guy can change. It has been five years. Huh? I need to talk to Barrett. Right. Come on in. Daddy, the Mako place blew up. Everyone on TV's talking about it. Don't you worry about all that silliness. Daddy's here and he's not going anywhere tonight. Now turn that thing off and let's get you to bed, huh? Yeah, yeah, your money. Ask Tifa. She takes care of all that. Do you mind keeping Marlene company until I'm done with this? Me? Yeah, you. Uh. <laughs> hey! Uh, the hell do you think you're doing scaring my daughter like that? Daddy says never talk to strangers. <laughs> That's right, honey, I do say that. What a good girl you are remembering daddy's lessons. <laughs> you know what else good girls do? They go to bed on time. Come on. But I'm not tired. I want to talk some more, daddy. Mm, all right, but just this once. <sighs> uh, so then, what can I get you? My money. I'm still waiting on it. Uh, right. About that, we should talk outside. <sighs> um, Daddy, did the people who died all return to the planet? Of course. Before we get on to money, there's an empty apartment in a place just down the road. It's nothing fancy, but... I was thinking you could stay there for now. The landlady's a big friend of the cause, so you wouldn't even have to pay rent. Sound good? Sure does. Thanks. <laughs> Follow me then. How was it up on the plate? It was... chaotic. Sorry for dragging you into all this. It was wrong of me to put you in danger crazy. like that. I, heard I about promise that I won't news. do it again. Danger's part of the job. Don't worry about me. <laughs> I'll try not to. Always happy to help stick it to Shinra. Hmm. Not good at all. So, you make nice with everyone? Much as I could, all things considered. Maybe not enough for them. Good. You had me worried. You're not exactly a people person. I'll give you that. I saw Sector 8 on the news. It was like a war zone. The news is just another Shinra mouthpiece. 
I'll spread whatever lies Shinra tells them to. One of my friends said so they saw it burning. It wasn't that bad? I thought reactors were it safe. Was. Oh, right. And here we are. Good old Stargazer Heights. You're on the second floor. Room 201 here is where I sleep. Don't have time for much else, what with Seventh Heaven and all. <laughs> Not even time to decorate. Here's your room, 202. Don't worry, I already told the landlady about you. You did? Yes? Oh, I mean I told her I had a friend looking for a place to stay. Was that too much? No. It's fine. And this? That one's, uh... Know what? It's getting late. I'll introduce you tomorrow. It's a little bare, but should be enough to get you through the night. If you want anything else, we can always there get it. There is one thing. My money. You guys owe me 2,000, remember? I do. And we'd love to settle up, especially since this was your first job for us, but... That's it? Sorry. We spent the rest preparing for the mission. That really is it. But not for long. I'm collecting money for filters tomorrow, so I can pay you after. <sighs> and you're sure about that? Of course, as long as you help, that is. Wait, then I'd have to pay you for that, too. Never mind. No, two thousand's enough. That's what we agreed on, so that'll be the price. With what you gave me, that leaves fifteen hundred. You're the best! I'll see you bright and early at the bar, then. Thanks again for everything. Sleep tight. <sighs> It's time for introductions.